Hey guys, welcome back to another comparison video. And as you can guess from the title in this video, we will be comparing Nanami in different Roblox games. So before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe and you can join my Discord in the description for early content. Now, the first game we will be taking a look at with Nanami is Ultimate Battlegrounds. This is a new Battlegrounds game, and it honestly seems very promising. Now, I would rate this Nanami a 10 out of 10. It's perfect. And I think it is the best Nanami on Roblox. Also, the way you get the Black Flash finisher in Awaken is very unique, and it's not easy to get it. Now, the next game we will be looking at is Cursed Arena, and I think their Nanami is the only one that can contend with Ultimate Battlegrounds. Now, I would rate the Nanami of this game like a 9 or 8 out of 10. It's not bad at all, but I just think Ultimate Battlegrounds is still way better. Now, let's move on to the next game, which is Project Baki 3. And to get Nanami on this game, you have to collect 1,000 points by killing random players, which is very long. As you can see, I'm not going to spend hours searching for players to kill, so I just bought the move set. Now, let's showcase it. So out of 10, I would rate this Nanami like a 7 out of 10. I like that. It has the revealing hand aspect to debuff your enemies, and the moves look nice, I guess. Now, the next game we will be looking at is Jujutsu Infinite, which I believe is still not public yet.
ここからは時間外労働です悔いはない Out of 10, I would also rate this Nanami a 7 out of 10. It's nice and simple, nothing looks too crazy, but it also does not look bad. Now, the next game we will look at is a game called Sukuna Battlegrounds, which has characters from a wide list of animes. Gave up on that boss fight. So, yeah. This Nanami is pretty mid, would give it like a 4 out of 10. The moves were pretty stiff and they didn't look good. Now that we have rated every game that has Nanami, to the best of my knowledge, here are the final ratings. Let me know how you would rate each game in the comments. Although I think we can all safely agree that Ultimate Battlegrounds deserves the win with this one. If you don't agree, then let me know in the comments which game had the best Nanami. And with that, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more comparison content like this. Now, before we end the video, let me quickly talk to you about a Demon Slayer Battleground game my friend is working on. Right now, he is working on Nezuko and Akaza, and I think they are looking pretty good so far. Now, the game takes a lot of inspiration from the Demon Slayer console game Hinokami Chronicles. Such as this Nezuko Ultimate, which will be implemented into the game. But yeah, if you are interested in the game, make sure to join my friend's Discord to keep up with the production of the game and while also checking out the sneak peeks. And with that, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.